New developments today in an effort to bring a police accountability board to Colorado Springs. The city council with one member absent voted unanimously to officially create a citizens committee to make recommendations regarding police policies and conduct. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at City Hall in downtown Colorado Springs tonight where the vote was made just around three hours ago. Scott. Well, today was the second and final vote on this matter, making it official. And today, a council member voted for the committee after voting against it last time. Organizers in the local Black Lives Matter protest felt a sense of accomplishment Tuesday after the Colorado Springs City Council officially created a police accountability advisory committee. Yeah, excited to work with council to start getting the ball rolling on cab and for us to sit down, get the committee uh, all formulated uh, with the members. This is just our foot in the door. Like, a lot of times we don't get that even foot in the door. So how do we make this foot in the door turn into multiple situations of social change and not just one? Councilwoman Yolanda Avila was outspoken in why she cast the lone dissenting vote last time and explained why she changed her vote this time. So it's with a heavy heart because I want to I want to show that I want to move forward, but I'm doing it for you all who have been here protesting for weeks. Tuesday's vote is a big step in what everyone involved hopes will lead to even bigger steps eventually. And the council hopes to have the list of 800 applicants narrowed down to about 60 applicants for that committee by the end of this month and select the first six members of this committee by the end of next month. We'll keep you updated. We're live in downtown Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.